Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. And in this video, I'm going to explain uh, this functionality that uh, is built in, in the Turbo theme, is built into the product page. And then I'm going to show you how we can also add it to collection pages when stores want it. Um, and this functionality, what it does, right now I'm looking at the Halligan Bottle Openers website here. And it, this is a really simple uh, product page. We just got a couple photos and a little bit of product description. Um, a lot of product pages are more complex than this, but I personally want to show it to you on a simple page. Um, the functionality I want to show you is, is what I call the split functionality. And what it does is it takes the product description content and splits it into two segments and shows one piece in one place and another piece in another part of the page. Um, because we can't have two different descriptions and easily show it on the site. So if I open up this uh, product in the store admin, the product page, um, you know, there's only one text box for product description here, right? We can't have an, another text box for another, you know, piece of content. So what we do is we put both pieces of content in this page or in this product description box. And to start off, we do that in HTML viewing mode. So we click on this little carrots icon here. And we look at the HTML view of this. Um, and then it's really simple. And, and this is built into the turbo theme, right? So what you do is you type in the forward caret there for HTML, exclamation point, um, and two dashes, the word split, and then two dashes, and the end caret. And it's, it's as simple as that text right there, right? Um, what the logic on the page template does is it looks to see if just that phrase, I, I just call it simple split, right? If the split exists inside of the page, and if it does, it puts the content above the split in one part of the page and the content below the split in another part of the page. So here I'm just going to put in um, some text of, if I can spell properly here, and I'm not doing that at all. There we go. More text goes here. And I close that paragraph mark off. And now I'm going to save this. Now, I do sometimes have problems when I save the product description, the, the split phrase getting erased automatically by the Shopify um, admin. Um, I see that happen more when I toggle back to this normal view, not the HTML view. But the way I always check is I click on this show HTML view again, and I make sure that that split phrase is still there. And it is in this case, so I'm, I'm good. Now. Remember on this product page a minute ago, we looked at it. Um, there's just this product description text here. So now I'm going to refresh the page. And we should see our other text down here. So the, the text we put in the product description under the, the split phrase that we put in there, that shows up at the bottom of the product page. Um, now on this page here, there's really no need to because we've got plenty of space here. But this is actually a nice thing if we... For some stores, we put product reviews in here, and then we put some text below that um, for SEO purposes and things like that. So that's how you make split work. Once again, it's really simple. You go to the HTML view inside the product and the admin, and just add this little that I've got highlighted here, split, um, which is forward caret exclamation point dash dash space, S-P-L-I-T space dash dash end caret. It has to be exactly that way. Um, because in the code, we're looking for that exact phrase. Now, that's built in to Shopify's Turbo or Turbo theme in Shopify. Now, what's not built in is the same functionality on a collection page. So for a lot of stores, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go in and add some code that gives similar functionality. So if I look at this collection page in the admin, you'll notice there's a paragraph of text here, ends with the word separately. If I look at this page in the admin, you can see there's the word separately. So that first paragraph shows up, but there's more text here, right? And that text, in this case, shows up at the bottom of the page also. And this has got some, some tagging, you know, with some headers and some paragraphs. So it, it lays out a little more nicely. Um, and all I do, right, to edit that, it's the same thing as before. We just have to have that um, split in there. and. Like I said, it's really weird how this works in the Shopify admin sometimes because the split is now gone. 
Um, and I wonder if I refresh this page or not, if it'll disappear on me. Now it's still showing up. So when you're in the Shopify admin and you see it's missing, like, hey, where'd my split go? I always just put it back in again. And then I save that. Let me just finish. I save this page while still in HTML view. So save, and then I can go back and, and come back in again, change the views. And see, it still doesn't show up again. And it, it's really, it's weird how it, how it works. Um, sometimes you gotta be a little persistent and, and, and sometimes it's actually still there, you just can't see it. So I don't have, I don't have a good explanation for that. Um, but that said, when I do have it up and working like it is right now, it works really well. So the reason that you want to on collection pages have the split functionality is you want your customers to get to shopping as quickly as possible, right? Um, so you want them to be able to see your product content on that on that collection page. You don't want to have three paragraphs or you know more of text here pushing that content down. But collection pages are really valuable from an SEO standpoint. Um, they're actually some of the, the most um, clicked on and, and most indexed pages or most highest ranking pages inside of Google. So optimizing your collection page for SEO is a good best practice. And one of the best practices is putting more text on a page instead of just a bunch of images. So for a lot of our stores, we actually put in this functionality so at the bottom of the collection page, they can add a few paragraphs with our text to support the SEO efforts that they're driving towards. So uh, that explains the split functionality in the Turbo theme inside of product pages and collection pages. It's built in on product pages, collection pages. I can add it to your store. If it's already there, this, this video shows you how to, how to make that work. And there is that little funkiness you got to work with on the um, split, sometimes showing and not showing in the HTML view. But hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.